Hello, I'm Michelle. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, for my first tutorial, I want to show you how to make a nightlight using resin. Um, I'm making this particular nightlight for my nephew Liam. I thought this video might be fun for him to watch so he can see it being made, uh, but also, you know, instructive for anyone who wants to make their own resin nightlight. So a couple of basic things you need. You can do this a little differently than I do it. Some type of mold for your resin. You can do any shape you want as long as you can fit your lights in there. I'm doing this uh, circular shape. This is a six inch mold I got from Resin Obsession. Uh, this is a plastic mold so I am using this Cast and Craft mold release spray to prep my mold. I find that plastic molds release, uh, I just have a harder time getting the stuff out when I'm done than I do a silicone mold so the Cast and Craft helps with that. Another thing you need LED lights to go in your resin. Um, careful to get LED lights. I've tried this with different types of lights and the lights have died in the resin. So this LED light on this bendy metal wiring is what I find works best. You'll also need resin and hardener. Um, ears will look a little different depending on the brand you use. Um, mine is a one-to-one -one ratio resins. So that's why I have the same size. I'm using Moss Art Pro resin, which means that I'm only going to be pouring about a quarter to a half inch thick at a time. If you have a different resin, you can do a deeper pour than that if you would like to. Um, but you'll want to be careful to read the directions on your resin. Make sure you're not pouring deeper than is recommended because you might end up with a lot of bubbles and it just not looking exactly what you want it to look like. I'm also going to use some alcohol ink to color this uh, and I'm going to do two layers of resin. So first I'm going to do a layer of color um, and then I'm going to let that cure for a while uh, and add another layer while I will put the lights in later because I want to have a layer of kind of translucent color and then a layer of light so that will light up the color to give it this really pretty ethereal effect um, or you know like not too pretty uh, Liam don't worry I'm not gonna make it super girly for you I know you like um, space and blue so that's what I'm doing and I hope it will go well in your room so let's make a nightlight <laughs> Okay, I have my resin all mixed up now according to the directions on my resin package. Um, you'll want to make sure that you follow your mixing directions carefully. A uh, couple tips from me to you about mixing resin. Most resin is temperature sensitive, so if you're in a really, really cold room or if your resin has been sitting on a cold floor, you're going to want to heat it up somehow first. You can um, rest it in a bath of warm water. I actually like sit mine in front of my space heater. I don't know how safe that is. Maybe you shouldn't do that, but that's what I do. Um, you also want the room that you're working in to be relatively warm, somewhere around 70 or 72 degrees for the best possible results with your curing. Um, so now I'm going to start. First I'm doing a thin and shallow layer um, and I'm going to add more in just a moment. I've already noticed a hair in my resin so I'm going to pull that out right now just with the popsicle stick. And I'm going to stick that on my wax paper. I always have wax paper underneath the surface I'm working on just to protect that. So now I'm going to use my heat gun. It's going to help pop any bubbles. So I'm going to drop a little bit of ink in and then pour some resin over it because this will create a wispy effect with the ink. Um, a different style than the kind of resin petri dish art I normally do but I think this will look cool with the lights behind it. You can already see the ink moving and responding to that resin being poured in. So now I'm going to use my heat gun again to pop the rest of the bubbles.
thrift store. You can actually find these at Michael's, Joann's, and at dollar stores, like anywhere. I've used them in resin a few times and think they look really cool, so I'm going to put some of these in here as well. I'm just dropping them in where I see fit. I don't have a real plan for this. Now I'm also going to put in some star spangles because I know that Liam really likes space. And I just want a few more little shiny things in there to catch the light once those lights are behind this layer. And if you put spangles in your resin, you can push them down yourself. Usually they will sink down unless you wait a while after you pour the resin to put them in. I'm going to push them down a little bit just because I like to have a semblance of control about where they end up. I'm using a plastic toothpick for this. When you put things in your resin, I like to play a little bit with layering, so I like to have some things closer to the surface, some things further away from the surface. I find that this creates a really cool visual effect. So I'm going to leave a few of those spangles resting on top and let them go where they will. And now I'm going to let this cure. My Resin Moss Art Pro takes eight hours at least to cure, so I'm going to check on this in eight hours. Okay, so now that my first layer has cured, you can see I have my LED lights arranged and I've gotten them kind of as flat as I can possibly get them in here. Um, my advice is not to try too hard to make like crazy d designs with the wiring of the lights because they tend to stick up uh, and you want them to be flat so that they'll be under your resin. Now I'm pouring my second layer and you can see this resin just has a light tint to it. What I've done here is I just dropped in two drops of alcohol ink into the resin and mixed it in and I also put in some silver flakes again to give the lights and more things to shimmer along with them just to make this a really pretty and reflective night light but I wanted to give it a little bit of a different color in the background so you can do that with just a couple drops of alcohol ink if you want kind of a translucent tint I'm going to try to do now, you might be able to see this, there are just a few pieces of the wire that are sticking up a little bit, so I'm going to try to stick those down. Um, I found that some of them just keep floating to the top, so if you do this, I recommend checking on your LED lights and pushing them back under the resin as it continues to cure. If I can't get them to go all the way under, I might have to do this one more light. So now I'm going to use my heat gun one more time, hopefully. And again, I'm going to let this cure for about eight hours and I will continue to check in on it to push those lights back on resin when I can, but we might need to do just one more light layer. Now we have the finished nightlight in all its spacey glory. I'm really excited about how this turned out. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial. I will link everything I used in the description and look out for more tutorials soon.